When you use a container image vulnerability scanner, it looks at the packages that are installed inside that container image. It looks at the versions of each package and then it checks against a database of known vulnerabilities to see whether those versions contain any known vulnerabilities. So in order to do that, the vulnerability scanner needs to be able to access information about the packages that are installed. So let's take a look at if we run, for example, uh, Nginx. So I'm just going to run Nginx. And uh, I can look at the packages that are installed in this image using APT. And we can see there's a bunch of packages installed inside that particular image. And I could also uh, find out information about those packages by looking in var lib d package. And uh, inside here, for example, I can look at status. Uh, let's cat that. And we will find information in that file about all the packages, all the versions. So for example, here's the util Linux package and its version number here. Um, so that's telling, telling us exactly which packages are installed inside this image. And the contents of var lib d package is, at least for d package based package manager um, distributions, this is where the vulnerability scanner can look to find out that information. Now, if you have come across a tool called Docker Slim, this is a pretty neat way of removing unrequired files that are not needed inside a container image in order for that container to function. So I could build from that Nginx image and I'll create a new one called uh, Nginx slim. So that is going to figure out what inside the Nginx image is not really necessary for Nginx to operate and build a new image called that's been tagged with the slim tag with all those unnecessary files removed. So that's been built. Exit out of Docker slim. And if I list the Nginx images I have now, we can see the slim one that I just built is under eight megabytes, which is a huge reduction on the original. Remember, we started from Nginx latest. Uh, it's much, much smaller. It's even smaller than the Alpine based version of Nginx. But if I try to do what I did before, running uh, and getting the list of installed packages, if I try to do that on this slim version, it's going to fail because the package manager, APT, is one of the things that's been removed from that image. And in fact, I can't even, I can list the var directory inside that image. Well, I can't because there isn't even a, an ls. Uh, I've actually unpacked that uh, image earlier into uh, an OCI format runtime bundle. And that is slim bundle. If I look inside the root file system here, you can see there is a var directory inside this image. But inside that, there is no lib. There's just var cache, var log, and var run. So there is no var libd package. All of the package information has been stripped out of that image. So that makes it impossible for a vulnerability scanner to know which versions of packages have been installed inside that image. Doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't any package files that could easily be binaries that were installed through packages inside that container image. We don't know. We can't tell because the package information has been stripped out. So if you're using a vulnerability scanner, we recommend Trivi. It's open source um, and it's uh, able to scan 
base images of a huge variety of different distributions. Support for different distributions comes from understanding where package information is stored, how to figure out which versions of packages are installed on that different distribution. So make sure that whatever vulnerability scanner you're using, that it understands the distribution of your images. Make sure that all your images are built on base images that you can scan because they contain the package information. And with that, your vulnerability scanner should be able to identify known vulnerabilities in the packages in your image.